What is up, Pokey Peeps and Masters? It is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are here for some PTCGO. So this is actually something I don't think I've ever actually ever done on a channel. I've done uh, Pokemon trading card, like I've done pack openings and stuff like that for other like VGC content or a uh, video game content where like I'll pop open packs, use this Pokemon for a thing, which we might bring back to the channel. I don't know. I'm I'm really excited to see. I just got done watching Worlds. We're recording this on Sunday. This is going up on Thursday, but. I was excited to see the new format for Pokemon and all of its upcoming things. If you haven't checked that out, go head over to Cerebi and check it, it out. But we're going to start slow. Let me. I want to see if you guys like or are interested in seeing some PGCGO action. I love playing card games. I, I This is something like uh, there's not a big group around me that gets into like the physical card game. So PGCGO is kind of my outlet. I have a buddy who's been playing on and I've been watching his videos and it's just kind of it's kind of captivated me. I've been playing for about a week and a half now. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start off with some pack openings because I do have a handful of packs that, like I said, I've been playing for about a week and a half, and I have accumulated some packarinos. We got five Celestial Storm, which is the newest pack that just came out a couple weeks back. We have two Crimson Invasion, which I believe is a set before. Our, I could be wrong, and then we have Sun and Moon's Guardians Rising, which that Alolan. Um, Nine Tails looks pretty spicy though, so we're gonna start with this. We're gonna save the new packs for last. So let's pop open these. These are all packs I've gotten from uh, just playing the game and doing all that stuff. So it's a very, I'm gonna say, a free-ish to play friendly game. You can pop open some packs and like you get a code card in every pack. So every time you buy a physical pack, you buy a pack for the game. It's super nice and super fun. But let's get into this. Let's pop open a pack. And over the next couple weeks, if you guys enjoy this, we might do some battles and stuff like that. It won't be like the highest play content, but I have played the game before, so. Like, I do know what kind of, what's kind of going on, and I'm, and I'm enjoying it. So, let's see what we got. So, we're going to click our rare just to get that drumming out of the way, but we got a Gothitelle. Okay. So, uh, let's see what we got here. We got a Nose Pass. Probably not going to use it. Wimpod, maybe. What do you do? A anything with an ability, just obvi obviously those are the cards we look for. Schooling, once during your turn before you, uh, before you attack, you may switch this Pokemon... Uh, you may switch this Pokemon with a Wishy Washy EX from your hand. Any cards attached, damage, counter, special conditions, turns in play, or any other effects remain on the new Pokemon. Okay, interesting. I don't know what turns in play actually. That's interesting. Oh, oh, oh. You can't evolve it, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we did get a choice ban. Which choice ban, uh, this attack does. When this. The attacks of Pokemon. This card is attached to you to 30 more damage to your opponent's active EX or GX Pokemon. Uh, Vanillix, Wismascot, uh, Energy Recycle over Shuffle, 5 basic energies from your discard power back into your deck, and Gothitelle with Tractor Beam. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the active, the attack does 30 to the new active Pokemon. That's super interesting. Link Blast, if this Pokemon, uh, if this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energies, this attack does 80 more. So if they both like if you're if you're on curve, I guess this is better if you go first. Maybe. Hmm. Probably if you go second, actually. Because then you're still attaching for the turn, and then you're not. I don't know. I don't know. If if you're if you go first, then this is good because you can attach to when you're benched, if if you already have the same amount, and so on and so forth. It allows you to have like, I guess a turn up. So let's pop open another pack. Uh, nothing too great from that pack, but nothing too bad. So we're popping open the other Guardians. I think it's Guardians Rising. Okay, so we got a Rescue Scratcher, which, again, I just watched, um, Worlds. So I know that's a super competitive card. Let's pop open these two things, and we'll just go over what we got. We got Solgaleo, and... An Oricorio, okay. So, pretty standard, nice little rock rough. Okay, so, Rescue Stretcher, choose... Choose one. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck. That's actually super neat. Um, I really like that card. I really like the card, and I uh, totally understand why it's used. Um, roadblock. Your opponent cannot have more than four bench Pokemon. If they have five or more bench Pokemon, they discard their bench until they have four. Uh, if you have more than one effect... If you have more than one effect that changes the number of bench Pokemon uh, allowed, use the smaller number. Okay. See what Solgaleo does for two energy. It does this attack does 50 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. I love sniping. I absolutely love sniping, and I think it's it's super good. Plus, it's 160 and not an EX, so it's super nice. And then Fangs of the Sun, the Sun -ay. You cannot use the Fangs of the Sun. And then what's Oricorio do? Vital Dance. When you play this card, uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand into the bench, 
During your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic energies and put them on in your hand. That's, that's kind of nice. It's a nice energy searcher. I guess if you're running light on energies, you kind of play Gory Corio to set it up because you just pop it onto the bench, get two energies. Because, like, as I was seeing, there was more uh, in the things. Like, the uh, basic average was, like, nine energies. So, let's pop up in these Crimson Invasions. So, I think this is the good card from this part pack is... Uh, obviously, there's probably a Soul Valley GX in here. Uh, I, I, do, I don't actually know. Um, let's see what we got. That's a classic Carablast. Okay. They've been doing a lot of reprint lately. And... Okay. So, let's go over some of the old cards. Fire energy, blah, 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 blah. These are cool. Those, I, I love the, the little darkness things in the background. So, this is a, this is a reprint of an old Carablast. Oops. A reprint of an old Carablast. Once you're in turn before you attack your maze, discard a shell from your hand. If you do search for a Pokemon that dis evolves from this and put it on top of this and evolve it. It's super nice. Super nice. Oh, and there's the Excelgor right there, but that's for the Shellmint. That's for the Shellmint. So we have, what's this? Sea of Nothing. The special conditions are not removed when a Pokemon evolves or de-evolves. Hmm. Probably not too relevant, but still cool. We have the Fluffy. Fluffy Master himself. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from Pokemon that are non-fire Pokemon. Okay. That's super nice. It has a built-in um, hard candy rock. Hmm. I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. And Salazzle, nasty plot. Um, search your deck for two up to two cards and put them in your hand. That's not that great. And severe poison. Your opponent's Pokemon is not poison. Put four damage counters on instead of one between turns. That's kind of neat. Kind of nasty. Uh, I have a feeling. I don't know if there's any synergy with that with anything else. Okay. So let's pop open the other pack of Crimson Invasion. Like I said, if you like this kind of content, make sure to go down there and just tickle that like button down below for the new kind of content to the channel, potentially. Okay, so what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got a loose. I mean, what's our... What's our... Ooh. Hoo! Hoo! We'll get to that. Hoo! So we got two lovely ladies in this pack. Uh, Chimeco... Jigglypuff, Swablu, Execute, Staravia, Alolan Graveler, and Call to Family, Crunch. Okay, so Lusamine selects any two combinations of supporters and stadiums in your discard pile now into your hand. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And Olivia, what's Olivia do? Search your deck for two GX and reveal them and add them to your hand. Full Art Olivia. That's spicy. That is absolute spice. Okay, so we have four packs left. Five more packs. I don't know. We aren't even close. Five more packs open. Let's pop the Celestial Storm open. So these just opened, came out a couple weeks ago. So uh, I have done a little bit of research on these. This is a pretty interesting set. I do like it in, uh, definitely. So again, I'm just getting into this. So the first couple videos we do for battles won't be super in-depth, super involved. Uh, obviously, we won't have like tier one GX decks, but we'll have some fun. We'll have some fun. Maybe I'll pop up. Like, maybe I'll get enough to get a starter deck, and we'll play around with the starter deck. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Get rid of the drumming. Gotta go, ogre. Gotta go, ogre, guys. Okay. So, Slugma, Trico, Wismer. What does the Mass Royale do? Okay. Attach, attach energies. Attach a basic energy. From your hand to one of your stage two grass, fire, or water Pokemon. Okay, so understandable because he's, I mean, no, no, it's not spoiling anything here, but he does deal with those three starters colors in the game. So understandable, understandable that that's a cool, that's a cool card. I don't know if it's gonna see any use. Cactor, and this actually looks like an old Cactor, and it might be a reprint. Uh, Poison Payback. Uh, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon is damaged by an opponent's attack, it, the other Pokemon is now poison. Interesting, interesting. I just saw the Poison Barb card. That is actually pretty cool. Even game. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon up to the number of bench Pokemon. Put them in, okay, cool. And then Kyogre has Dual Splash. That's 32 your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's pretty awesome. And Grand Wave. You can't use Grand Wave next turn. That's kind of that's kind of booty. It's kind of kind of booty butt cheeks. Let's pop open another pack. We have four more packs left. Four more packs. There's that, uh... Okay, so here's the Cacnea that goes along with it. Oh yeah, these. this is definitely... Uh, this, was, this was probably printed... I want to say... Either during the Gold and Silver series, 
or probably the uh, probably or I'm not Golden Soul Silver. I mean like Hard Cold Soul Silver series, or hmm. I know this was printed back in the. This is this is a reprint, and so is this. This is this was printed back in um, Neo Genesis or something. So that's pretty cool. Me Minior, Falling Star. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this. And Lunala. So okay, so this one Shadow Shield. If this has any second energy attached to it, it takes 20 less damage and has full moon rate. 380 plus is 20 more for each energy attached to the opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. So three more packs left to open. Three more packs left to open. Let's pop it open. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This is an old. This is an old Onyx too. Oh, this is so cool. See, this is a this is a big mix of nostalgia plus new stuff because again, that's that's what this pack really is. I mean, this Onyx definitely was out back when I used to play. Um, Beldum. As long as this is your active Pokemon, it has a cheat less of each boat bottom on. As a retreat cost of one less for each. So if you have two more Beldums on the bench, he's a free retreat cost. Lure Ball, flip three coins. Uh, for each head search for an evolution in your discard pile and add to your hand. That's kind of booty butt cheeks. Uh, what does the Hiker do? Look at the top five cards of your deck. Of either player's deck, choose one and choose one of them. Okay. Look at. Oh, of both players. Okay. If either player's deck and choose one of them. That player shuffles the other cards back into their deck. And then. Put the card you choose on the top of the deck. That's interesting. I'm sure there's some kind of shenanigans there. Oh, Bill's maintenance. I didn't even see that. Hold on. Get out of the way, Doxus. Okay. Shuffle a card from your hand into your deck. If you do draw three, kind of booty for this format, I think, but super neat. And then two energies, 20 plus the amount of energies attached to the opponent's active. Pretty nice, like a mini Mewtwo. And yeah. Okay. So we've gotten a full art of Livy with still two packs left. Let's see if we can pull one more lit card. Come on, come on, let's pull let's pull a prism. Let's pull a prism. Let's pull a prism. Ooh, we got an acro bike. Oricorio and mm, Grumpy. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, so Acrobike. We know what Acrobike does. Look top two cards of your deck, add one to hand, discard the other. That's been around for a while. I'm play, currently playing it in the decks I'm playing with on the, on the game. Super Scoop Up. That's cool. That's that, that's super nostalgic. Oh, my gentle Jesus. Uh, Shrine of Punishment between turns. Put one damage counter on each on each GX and EX Pokemon. That's, that's super nice. I might play that in my Raichu deck currently. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay. And last pack. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can pull fire in our last pack. Come on. 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 We got a beast ball. We got a beast ball. What's our last pack? What's our last one? Another Lunala. You know what? Lunala is not bad. So look at a Sneasel Beast Ball. So this one. Look, look at your face down prize card. You may reveal one Ultra Beast among them. Put it into your hand. Then put this Beast Ball in its place. So, uh, the, the thing I like about this one... Oh, you have to shuffle your face down prizes. Okay. That, that's more balanced. I, I thought you were going to be like, Oh, man, I, I, there's two here, so now I play the Beast Ball, and then I do the, the things, and the things, and the other things. Um, Switch, my favorite art of Switch. This, is, this one's definitely back from uh, Ruby and Sapphire, because obviously they promoted Torchic. My favorite Switch is the one with uh, Lucario on it. Of course. Lisa, search your deck for two Prism Star... Huh. Huh. Master Royale and Lunala. We've seen what Lunala does. So, um, yeah. I will probably make a deck using some of the new cards I've gotten. Grind up a little bit. Uh, maybe maybe next episode we'll do a couple games with either a deck I build now or whatever. It, like Sometime next week we'll do another... We'll do some gameplay. Maybe I'll open a pack or two up. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And we also have other content on this channel. We have Pokemon Let's Plays that are almost constantly going on the channel. Uh, right now we're about to finish up a Black 2 randomized Nuzlocke. We're about to start a Soul Link with my buddy Brian. If you haven't checked out Soul Link, we're about to, I'm going to have a trailer up soon about that. And check out the first episode, which will be a Choose Our Starter. And we'll go over all the rules for the Soul Link. 
if you haven't checked one of those out before. We also have Monster Hunter content and Dragon Ball TCG content on the channel as well, as, well, as long as any random thing that pops into my head. But, if you like this kind of content, make sure to smash that like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye, guys.